We're all a part of God's body. It is His will. Not some of your needs. Every last one of them. And they're going to. Uh, today, I want to talk about the heart chakra. Uh, the heart chakra is located where? Your chest. Right in the center of your chest. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and it's the middle chakra, right above the lower three and right below the upper three. So it's the balancing chakra. When they hold everything in balance. But when your heart chakra is open and it allows the energy to flow down, the spiritual energy to flow down, and it allows the physical energy to flow up. Okay, and if your heart chakra is blocked, you have sorry we have a problem because everything gets stuck right there that's why there's so much heart disease in this country because everything gets stuck right there in the middle uh, in terms of our connection to the earth and our lack of earth nourishment that creates a block going up and then our lack of connection to the spirit coming down through the crown chakra that creates another energy block that's why there's so much heart so many heart issues in, in Western culture. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, I started out with a quote from the Egyptian book called Coming Forth by Day. Just to show you how, how long this knowledge has been on the planet. This is uh, translated from the Egyptian book that was written thousands of years ago. Oh, my heart, my mother, my heart, my mother, my heart whereby I come into being. Weigh not heavy against me before the keeper of the balance. You are my divine essence which dwells in my body, the divine power which makes strong my limbs. When you come forth in the place of happiness where we go, may you not cause my name to send forth an offensive odor before those who assign people to their rightful place. Okay, so the poem is just speaking about the importance of the heart center, the heart chakra, that, that energy, and it talks about the physical and the spiritual energy. Uh, so the main qualities of the heart chakra are what? Love, compassion, passion, truth, and transformation. Transformation. If you want to change somebody, if you want to change yourself, it must be a change of heart must be a change of heart. You can change your mind and your attitude, but if your heart doesn't change, it's not a complete change. Nothing's going to, you're going to go back to your old way, you understand? So the heart is really the, the symbol of transformation. You can change a person's heart, you have changed them completely. Yeah. Physically, spiritually, mentally, you've changed them inside and out. The colors associated with the heart chakra are green and pink. Why green? Anybody know why green? New life. New life. Reading of spring. Okay. Reading of spring. Something new. Something new. I know that. The seed for the heart chocolate is the yam. I know you wanted me to tell you why, but I'm. Yes. I won't. 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 The symbol is the six-pointed star. The moral themes that are called forth in heart chakra work deal with truth and conscience. The body parts are heart, lungs, arms, and hands. Truth, vocation, responsibility to others. Disturbances related to the heart chakra are typically confusion and frustration. And the affirmation that you should use when you're working with the heart chakra should always begin with I love. Why should it begin with I love? Compassion. Okay, because you're trying to open up that flow of loving energy in your body. Okay, and that's, that's, you have to command that energy when you're working with the heart chakra. So when you're doing an affirmation or meditation related to 
your heart chakra, always beginning with I love. Uh, foods that help bring balance to the heart chakra include all fruits, nuts, and avocado. Is that green again? Mm -hmm. Herbs related to balancing the heart chakra are kelp. Is that green again? Mistletoe. Touch is the sense linked to the heart. Touch represents the breath of the heart's energetic qualities. So, anytime you are working with the heart chakra, you're trying to open up that energy that's going to touch other people. That energy that flows out of you and touches other people, just like your hand would physically touch, your heart touches too. And the touch of the heart is much more direct than the touch of the hand. What am I talking about? When you touch somebody's heart, it's more, it's more powerful than you just touching somebody with your hand. What, what's the difference well, touch in heart right. touch and physical touch? Uh, touch. A physical touch, when you're not touching them all, goes away. Mm -hmm. But you touch somebody's <coughs> heart, and it's like you can't yeah. stop thinking about That's them. A good mm -hmm. That's a good example. That's a good analogy. The heart, the impact of the heart touch is much more potent. Much more potent. Touch represents the breath of the heart's energetic qualities. Love and touch are the two most powerful healers. Love and touch are the two most powerful healers. They both contain the potential to open the energy field and allow an increased flow. We all need love. We search for it because we know it has the power to hold everything in balance. When the conscience is clear, the heart will not be heavy. What does that mean? When the conscience is clear, the heart will not be heavy. It won't be heavy with regret or concern. Okay, you won't be plagued by guilt and fear and regret and frustration. When your conscience is clear, in other words, when you know you've done your best, when you put your heart into something, that's when your conscience is clear. If you have to do something, it's gonna weigh on you, right? Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you're in a situation and you, you know you should respond, your heart is telling you to respond and you don't, that's gonna weigh heavy on you. Mm -hmm. Or if you did respond but you didn't do the best, you you know, you didn't give it your all. Mm -hmm. You just kind of went through the motions. That's when your conscience is heavy and thus your heart is heavy. So your heart and your conscience work together. You understand? So whatever is on your conscience is also on your heart. When the conscience is clear, the heart will not be heavy. Shackles of fear and guilt will not hold us back. Instead, we are able to be able to spread our wings of compassion, open our hearts, and send out unconditional love. Love is like the air we breathe. We cannot expect only to exhale. What does that mean? You have to give. You can't just You got to give. You got to give. You got to give. give. Unconditionally. Not because somebody gave it to you. Just because you got it to give. One day you might need somebody to give it to you, but you got to give it too. So remember that. Love is just like breathing. You got you to give and receive. some of your needs, every last one of them, and they're going to be. Oh, you're important to the Lord.